This class is social studies. That is you and the world. Yes, there is a world out there, and even if you decide you don't want to meet it, it's still going to hit you right in the face. Believe me. So, best you start thinking about the world now and what it means to you. What does the world mean to you? Come on, a little class participation here. Is it just this class you want to get out of? Your house, your street? Any further any of you want to go than that? Yes? The mall. That's only like two miles away from me. <laughs> well, let me ask you another question. How often do you think about things that happen outside of this town? You watch the news? Yes? No? All right, so we're not global thinkers yet, but why aren't we? Because we're 11. Good point. What's your name? Trevor. Maybe Trevor is absolutely right. Why should we think about the world? I mean, after all, what does the world expect of us? Expect. Mm -hmm. Of you. What does the world expect of you? Nothing. Nothing. My God, boys and girls, he's absolutely right. Nothing. I mean, here you are, you can't drive, you can't vote, you can't even go to the bathroom without a pass from me. You're stuck right here in the seventh grade. But not forever, because one day you'll be free. Yeah. All right, but what if on that day you're free, you haven't prepared, you're not ready, and then you look around you and you don't like what the world is. What if the world is just a big disappointment? We're screwed. <laughs> unless, unless you take the things that you don't like about this world and you flip them upside down right on their ass. Don't tell your parents I use that word. <laughs> and you can start that today. This is your assignment. Extra credit, it goes on all year long. Oh, now, wait a minute. What? What? What's wrong with this? What's the matter? Yes? It's, it's like so... So what? There must be a word to finish that sentence. Someone help her? Weird. Crazy. Weird. Crazy. Hard. Bummer. Bummer. Hard. How about possible? It's possible. The realm of possibility exists where? In each of you. Here. So you can do it. You can surprise us. It's up to you. Or you can just sit back and let it atrophy. Atrophy. If there is a word you hear that you don't understand, there's a dictionary at the front of the room. Look it up. And there are these dictionaries, which you will carry with you at all times. Because in this class, we're going to learn to love words and their meanings. Any questions? Yeah. So you'll like flunk us if we don't change the world. Well, no, I wouldn't do that. But you might just squeak by with a C. What you ever do to change the world? Well, Trevor, I get a good night's sleep. I eat a hearty breakfast. I show up on time. And then I pass the buck to you. Now, I want you all to write your names in these books. And what's your name? Molly, all right. I want Molly to look up the word at.